Hey guys, how's you doing? It's Sahil Pis from Coding Card, and in this video, I'm going to share my interview experience at Publisher Sapien. So let's get started. So guys, first thing first. So mark my words. In uh, any or uh, any interview I've given till now, the first question from the interviewer is tell me about yourself. 95% time interviewer ask me this question tell me about yourself because you know to start an interview this is the straight away uh, question to know about the candidate interest uh, in which domain candidate work on and if you are fresher you must have done some projects in your college so you can uh, you can tell them project which you have done in your college and uh, which technology you have used in that particular project and if you are working in some company you can mention your projects here which you are currently doing and so on and you can also mention your strengths and weakness in this uh, so uh, my personal experience says that whatever you are going to say in this particular point tell me about yourself your interview is going in that way only what i mean is whatever you will say and tell me about yourself the next question most probably guys it's happened with me almost 100 times yes 100 times it happened with me whatever i say that i have worked on this this technology i have done that that project so the interviewer asked me from that only so simply i can say that uh, by answering this question you can frame your interview like uh, uh, you can uh, do that uh, which question you know you can answer that only what i mean is see while answering tell me about yourself in a publicist happened i said uh, i was working in accenture so i told uh, but i applied as a fresher so i told uh, i told him that i have done this this, this project and my uh, domain is mean stack so you can see the next question he asked me that elaborate your project and my project uh, I have mentioned in tell me about yourself and uh, it is under mean stack so he just asked me about tell me about yourself so second question is elaborate your project so I have uh, so my uh, domain in the Accenture is mean stack which is basically contain see listen carefully which is basically contain MongoDB ExpressJS Angular and Node.js so you can uh, notice i uh, i said that you can frame your interview it means just uh, answer in that way which you know what i mean is while answering this question then elaborate your project i uh, or you can say five to six time i mentioned that i uh, worked on mongodb i fetch the data from the mongodb i call the apis and get the data from the mongodb making the calls uh, from the api to storing the data in the mongodb so you can you can see while answering i am uh, it's it's uh, like ensuring me that i am confident in mongodb so see third question is sql versus no sql now i hope many of you know what mongodb is but if not don't worry mongodb is no sql database so basically the uh, he asked me that difference between sql versus no sql so you can see the follow-up question first tell me about yourself whatever project whatever project i have mentioned here he just tell me to elaborate that project on me okay so follow-up question then i told that i have done a web web, uh, web application and explain my domain the uh, i have used the mongodb so follow-up question he asked me that what is mongodb and explain the difference between sql versus no sql oh i think i forgot mention here mongodb so mongodb and he asked me that how uh, how it is different uh, different from sql versus no sql so that is here so the uh, fourth question is basically sql versus no sql so you can see the follow-up the project then elaborate your project then whatever you say here almost most of the time the next question will be from that only and follow-up question sql versus no sql okay so after answering this question you can see the another follow-up question that is sql uses so 
Uh, so this uh, video is going to basically the questions which uh, I've been asked uh, by our interviewer in Publicis Sapien. So I'm not going to make a video that how you have to answer this question. But if you want that, just comment down below. I will make a separate video that in interview, how uh, how you can answer uh, these questions and what uh, what approach you can think of while answering these questions. I have given many interviews till now and I have cracked almost all of them. So uh, uh, after that SQL uses. So, uh, so SQL is basically a structured query language. So if you want to fetch the data from the RDBMS, you can use it by the SQL. I am not going uh, deep into this because uh, if you want, just comment down below. I will be making the separate video in this. So the next question is from O. So guys, mark my word. And uh, especially for the uh, whosoever is preparing for the Java developer role. Mark my words, OOPS is very important for you. For the Java person, is it is 200% important. And for non-Java person, guys, your interviewer will ask question from OOPS 80%. Because you know, the, uh, the project which we make in the real world, in the production level, almost all of the project followed the OOP principle. So the classes and object, uh, basically uh, a structure which we uh, which we can define to follow our web applications or any or any application you are making so oops it uh, is very important when you uh, can see this from the interview perspective so it is very important again prepare oops and for the java developer no chance you have to prepare this and it's easy it's nothing a big uh, big in this so just uh, in that i just uh, basically start with the full form of the oops object oriented programming why you use oops the, or the basic of the class and the object just explain just, just explain that okay so after that the seven point you can see the follow-up question from the oops he asked me about what is oops and uh, the another question is principle of oops so guys, uh, you know, I have given uh, four to five interview uh, in Java only. Uh, the whole number is a big, but for Java perspective, I have given four to five interviews. So uh, principal of whoops asked me in five of five interviews. <laughs> Just uh, trust me, five on five times, they asked me principal of whoops. So it is important in air uh, and uh, i think in that uh, cognizant one video they also asked me about the principle of oops now uh, if you haven't watched that video you can uh, see in the i button or in the description uh, we will uh, drop a link to that interview so basically the uh, principle of oops there are four principle uh, encapsulation inheritance abstraction polymorphism so guys while answering this question now just don't be uh, like you have some do done a ratification don't do that just explain these with a real world example okay so i'm not not going to explain these but let me explain one that how you can answer so just take an inheritance so if you are explaining inheritance that this is the parent class inherit the feature from the child class yes everyone knows but you have to stand out from the crowd that 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 is why interview uh it's just uh, is looking for and uh so while answering the inheritance just take a real world example that there is a child so child inherit feature from you know, from his or her parents so this is the inheritance just take a real world example it's, if you take the real world example your interview went well and mark my word you will get selected just be original and take the example from real world okay so i'm not going to uh, going to explain all these if you want videos that how you can answer in the interview i will make the separate video just comment down below okay next question next question is explain each principle with example this is what i said follow up question and explain each principle with example so let me correct this with real with real world example with real world example so uh, just just keep uh, keep remember this if you are going to explain this if you have real world example in your mind nothing better than that just go with that okay so the seven point see another follow-up question what is classes and objects so 
if you uh, if you are going to answer this question na just uh, mark my word again just uh, give a real world example okay so okay let me let me explain this how you can how how you can answer this for example uh, here if the interviewer ask you what is the classes and the object so everyone everyone knows the bookish definition and the definition which is available on the internet but you have to send out from the crowd so what you can do you can uh, you can answer this question in this way that sir uh, for just take a real world example of a car manufacturing company okay so uh, class is basically the blueprint okay so just tell me one thing uh, before manufacturing a car what a car manufacturing company will do of course create a blueprint of the car if i want something if i want to make a house first i will go to the architecture and uh, uh, tell him to uh, prepare a blueprint so when he will uh, create a blueprint only then that blueprint will going into the manufacturing unit and in that manufacturing unit that car is going to be prepared okay so after the blueprint uh just uh, ready uh, that blueprint will send to the car manufacturing company by seeing that blueprint the blueprint will have some features like how many how many wheels car have the design the top speed the engine used and uh, you know the the type of lights used halogen projector etc etc so everything is mentioned in the class in the blueprint so class is a blueprint and what comes out after class from what comes out from the class it that is our object okay so from that blueprint that cars comes out to be from the manufacturing unit so that car that uh, uh, that tata harrier which uh, comes out to from the showroom that is the real world object so you can answer this question in this way okay so the last question uh, from uh, this so i'm not going to discuss the hr type question which he asked that uh, what is your notice period and all you can answer that uh, according to according to your uh, need that uh, what is uh, the notice period left out okay so last question is remove second last element from the array so this is the simplest question i can uh, i answered in the interview so he just uh, told me to open a online compiler of java python or any language which i am comfortable in i coded this in uh, java so he just asked me to remove second last element from uh, from the array so yeah after this he just uh, went on the what is your notice period why you left in this company if you want uh, that how to answer that question that managerial question or a situational based question i can make a separate video on that also so yeah that's it <clears throat> so guys uh, just uh, uh, i want to wrap up the session with a uh, uh, quick tips so first step uh, this uh, guys mark by word this is uh, the first one tell me about yourself you can frame your interview by answering this question just be confident while uh, while uh, introducing yourself you know if someone is not uh, confident while uh, while explaining his his capabilities so so there is no doubt that how uh, this candidate is going to be so just be prepare this and what you have what you will say in this the next follow up question from that only 95% of time this is my personal experience and whatever you say uh, whatever the technology you have worked on the interviewer will ask the question from that only so you can see you can frame your interview so yeah guys this is the deck from my side if you want any uh, if you want videos uh, uh, any on a, any certain topic and i have given many interview after this so i will be creating more videos on the interview series and if you want uh, that how you can answer this how i crack all the companies which i have given the interview just comment down below there is one twist here that after getting the letter from publicis sapien they after getting all the interview why i didn't join publicis sapien what they did wrong to me uh i have all the chats all the linkedin chats all the gmail the offer letter from them after clearing the interview and uh, while serving the notice period in accenture they told me that i have to give one more round so just be careful while joining publicis appeal what went wrong if you want video on that i can make a separate video while sharing all the linkedin chats the gmail 
and all stuff so if you want just comment down until bye have a great day